Gary, uh, a really entertaining game of football here at the DW. Just how didn't you win it though? Yeah, I just said that to the players. I uh, take great credit for their performance, their application, their desire to go and win a game of football when they were out on their feet near the end, but showed a lot more energy than Birmingham in the last uh, kind of 20 minutes of the game. Uh, the goal is, is given to them again. I couldn't see them scoring. I thought we had control, total control first half. Second half, the more we opened up, granted they had the odd uh, counter-attack, uh, but they were few and far between and we controlled the majority of the game. You mentioned the Birmingham goal, a real controversial moment. There was a lot of controversial issues surrounding it. What was your assessment of it? I can understand one mistake, but I can't understand several. Uh, and that's how it seemed to me. He looks marginally offside. Uh, the, the boys two yards inside the box, which I didn't, I didn't think you were allowed in the box on the rebound, and to get that many wrong in, in such a short space of time, has killed us because, like I said, they didn't look like scoring. You're a winner and it hurts, but I guess you have to give a lot of praise to your players for how they reacted. Yeah, we kept going, and we kept playing the right way. We kept trying to pass the ball. I felt we we could have played a bit wider at times. We, we tried to force things through when when the space was in wide areas. We played with two wingers. As, as wing backs and, and really went for it and, and got the least we deserved for the night. The patience though, it's it certainly improving in those situations from your side, the way they did keep the ball and you'd like it to be better, but for long periods they did keep it and were patient. Yeah, they were. They, they moved the ball quicker second half. I felt that was something we could, first half we could have been a bit brighter, but the Saturday, Tuesday games, we, we have to get used to them and, and have that mentality from the start, but second half we moved the ball quicker and, and got in some great areas and created good opportunities against a, a packed defence. The goal itself, Will Greg turns provider and a nice moment for Craig Davis because he's probably found it hard in his 12 months or so here. Brilliant, yeah, it's, it's a credit to his professionalism. He has been extremely professional in the last few weeks. He went about his job and worked hard to, to be ready when an opportunity comes and it just shows you in this game you get your rewards when you're like that. The atmosphere inside the DW, you've always said that they have to get behind you, they have to be patient. It was really good again tonight, for, for long periods they were right behind you. It was great, yeah, they, they kept the team going uh, and we thank them for that because it was hard second half to, to chase a game against a team that, that likes to defend in numbers. So they, they kept us going and uh, the goal was, was the least they deserved for their performance on the night as well. A Wigan Athletic debut for Sean McDonald, just how did he do coming in off the bench? Great, yeah, I think it's always difficult coming on the bench, but I think he gave us a bit of stability uh, defensively. We, we had a lot of forward players, like I said, the wingers playing as wing-backs, so we needed a bit of security in the middle of the park, and, and he provided that at a crucial time. Luke Burt just coming off just uh, early in the second half. Is that a tactical move, or, or has he got a knock? No, purely to get Michael on the pitch, get an attacking player on the pitch, and then obviously 10 minutes later we put Yannick out there as well. And I felt that was the areas we could hurt them, and... Uh, but we did cause problems in wide areas and, and we had to chase the game. Just finish on a bit of transfer news, Luke but Garber has arrived on loan from Everton. What can he bring to the Wigan Athletic squad? He provides us some quality in, in that wide area. Obviously with injuries we've had and you know several in, in both wide areas, we, we need some uh, competition in those areas and he's somebody with uh, great quality on the ball, a good experience of this league and, and higher, so he'll, he'll provide uh, great competition for the squad.